Hello, and thank you for your interest in joining the Project Wildlife Volunteer Program. Welcome to the Project Wildlife Intro to Satellite Care Online Orientation. In this training, we are going to talk about what satellite care is, why we do it, go over some general guidelines and requirements, and the opportunities we have available within this program. First, we will start by covering the general rules of wildlife rehabilitation as determined by the National Wildlife Rehabilitators Association. All wildlife rehabilitators should strive to achieve high standards of animal care through knowledge and an understanding of the field. Continuing efforts must be made to keep informed of current rehabilitation information, methods, and regulations. A wildlife rehabilitator must abide by local, state, and federal laws concerning wildlife, wildlife rehabilitation, and associated activities. A wildlife rehabilitator should establish safe work habits and conditions abiding by current health and safety practices at all times. A wildlife rehabilitator should acknowledge limitations and enlist the assistance of a veterinarian or other trained professional when appropriate. A wildlife rehabilitator should strive to provide professional and humane care in all phases of wildlife rehabilitation, respecting the wildness and maintaining the dignity of each animal in life and in death. Releasable animals should be maintained in a wild condition and released as soon as appropriate. Non-releasable animals, which are inappropriate for education or captive breeding, have a right to humane euthanasia. A wildlife rehabilitator should encourage community support and involvement through volunteer training and public education. The common goal should be to promote a responsible concern for living beings in the welfare of the environment. A wildlife rehabilitator should work on the basis of sound ecological principles, incorporating appropriate conservation ethics and an attitude of stewardship. A wildlife rehabilitator should respect other rehabilitators and persons in related fields sharing skills and knowledge in the spirit of cooperation for the welfare of the animals. And all wildlife rehabilitators should keep in mind that this assignment is very different from fostering. Wildlife should only be handled when cleaning, feeding, or medicating and should be left alone otherwise. There is no socializing. By this time, you are probably wondering what our satellite volunteers do and how they make a difference. Satellite care volunteers work with animals in their own homes to ensure they receive the specialized care needed to be released safely back into the wild. Satellite volunteers are a crucial component in allowing wildlife to be released safely back into their natural habitats by providing a quiet, calm environment for rehabilitation. Satellite care volunteers perform many duties within their role. You will be feeding and cleaning animals multiple times a day, providing a proper environment and nutrition specific to the species you are caring for, administering medication and treatment on an as-needed basis, providing basic emergency care while recognizing and treating possible life-threatening conditions. You will be carefully monitoring animals to ensure proper health and behavior, updating paper and electronic medical records daily, taking part in regular communication with the satellite coordinator, team leader, and fellow team members regarding treatments, supplies, and general care, following guidelines in the species team protocol at all times, and always being caring, patient, and committed to helping wildlife in need and keeping them wild. The requirements for this volunteer role are as follows. You must be 18 years or older, be able to commit to one year, have the ability to pick up animals and supplies from the Project Wildlife Care Center once a week, depending on the need during the season, and take part in animal transfers with fellow team members as needed. The season and need will also depend on the species you are caring for. Lastly, you must complete all required trainings and paperwork prior to caring for animals in your home. No prior wildlife experience is needed. We will train you. Also, please keep in mind the number of animals you are caring for at any one time and length of stay with you will depend on the species, space available in your home, and age and health of the animal. So how can you help as a satellite care volunteer? You can join a species-specific team. 
We have a songbird team, which cares for hundreds of different species of birds, a hummingbird team, a corvid team caring for crows, ravens, and jays, a pigeon and dove team, a duck team, seabird and shorebird team caring for many different species of water birds, a raptor team taking in multiple different species of hawks and owls we see each year, a bat team, a rabbit team, skunk team, opossum team, a squirrel and small mammal team caring for squirrels and small mammals like gophers, voles, moles, wood rats, and more, a raccoon team, and a fox team. Each team will require species-specific training and have different needs as far as space requirements, amount of time needed, and amount of training that will be needed. Depending on the team you are interested in joining, you will have to consider the space and time you have available to dedicate to this role. For example, you can join the hummingbird team and care for babies and juveniles. Very little space is needed for this, but you would have to be prepared to feed these little ones every 30 minutes or so, starting when you wake up until you go to bed. Again, this would be for the first week or so, depending on their age, stage, and overall health. Or, you could join the raccoon team and have larger enclosures built on your property to begin preparing juveniles and adults for release back into the wild. This requires more space, but you would only be cleaning and feeding these animals once or twice a day. Again, this is assuming they are healthy and eating on their own. So you can see each team will have very different opportunities to help out depending on the space you have and the time you have to help rehabilitate these animals back to full health. At Project Wildlife, we will provide you with all the supplies needed to care for these animals and the training needed to be a successful wildlife rehabilitator with Project Wildlife in San Diego County. If you are interested in joining a team, your next steps will be to list the top three teams you may be interested in joining, email your interest to volinfo at sdhumane.org, we will be in touch in the next week with further information on training. You will begin the onboarding process to include a service interview in our care center. If you are selected to join a satellite team, you will complete a mentorship in our care center and any species specific paperwork and training required. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to hearing from you soon.